The red pandas are native to uh, in around uh, Nepal. So a huge region of forest. The population of red pandas is, is pretty much halved within the last 20 years. So now is the time to act before we get to a point where they're critically endangered. I'm Gavin, uh, I'm one of the senior keepers here at the park. Deforestation and habitat destruction for red pandas is a huge issue. Forests right around the world, not just in Nepal, are being cleared, number one, for farmland, for food, in many poor areas. And um, what you'll find is on the, the sides of the mountains, you'll have huge strips of land which are just cleared. There's many different ways that forests are destroyed and wiped out. We've got deforestation basically to clear for villages, for roads. When you have pandas which are going to be breeding in that area, you can fraction off a lot of females from males, you can stop them migrating to areas um, which is basically going to lead to a compacted population. Genetically, that population is going to be less diverse, uh, which will lead to problems further down the line as well. Um, so as with many species, you take away the forest, you take away areas of forest and the ability to get between them, you cause huge issues with breeding. We need to highlight the issues with them, we need to get people on board trying to conserve these guys and help us to conserve them as well. And the public can help with conservation of red pandas by supporting zoos like ourselves. So we do educational talks every day with the pandas right in front of us. We have um, you know, donation buckets around the park. It basically spurs people on to want to help, they donate and we have projects like the, the Forest Guardian Project. Employing people called Guardians of the Forest, which is basically local people. People are on the ground day in, day out, they live there. So they're the best people to help out with what's going on out there in the wild. A few pence in a bucket each day, it soon adds up. When you get 6,000 visitors through the gates of a zoo each day, you know, that's a lot of pennies over a year and that's and fund the project so it's a fantastic way for people to do very little and help a lot.